Hey guys, it's Tim. Here's a second video in our series on Meraki network access control. And in this video, we're going to focus on the wireless side. To show you how this all works, let me first jump into our lab topology. I have an MX64, which is running all our layer three, uh, 3850 running L2, a radius server, and then a Meraki access point. So you can see you don't necessarily have to have a full Meraki stack to implement network access control. Then we have a shared SSID at CCIETim.com and then we're going to have two clients in our environment and you can see their networks here. So what we're going to do in this video is we're first going to identify who is our client and then we're going to apply policies on what they can access. So we're first going to jump over to the Meraki dashboard to do some of our first steps in configuration. So the first place we're going to go to configure NAC is the SSID page. So we'll go to wireless SSID. I've already added my access point to the network. It's up and then we know that it works. And I've already created a net wireless network of CCIETim.com. So first we're gonna go in and edit settings. And we're going to choose WPA2 Enterprise with my radius server. You could use Meraki authentication if you choose. And then down here, we're gonna go ahead and actually add our own radius server. So I already have one up and running. It's going to be a Windows 2012 box with uh, the NPS service already installed. The shared secret that we pre-configured on that server is CCIETim.com. We'll just verify that I type that in correct. And then down here, we're going to select filter ID to actually apply that group policy. So what that means is when I have an IT user and an ITAD group on the radius server. When I log in and I get successfully authenticated, then the radius server is going to pass a tag back to the Meraki network to say, please apply this group policy to Tim's IT client. So let me show you what that looks like. So in order to configure a group policy, we go up to network wide and we go to group policy. And this is the group policy that will be applied to our IT users. And if you remember here, the IT users are going to have access to everything that they need in the network. We name this IT GP VLAN 55, and there's no restrictions. The only thing that we're doing is applying a VLAN tag of 55 so that this puts the IT user in network 55. For the sake of uh, this demo, what we're going to do is create a clone of this group policy for HR users. And we're going to do something a little different with HR. What we're going to do is we're going to create a firewall rule that says HR has no access to anything on the local network. So I only have 192s on my network. We're going to say local LAN access. And then we're also going to create a rule that says uh, all HR uh, traffic needs to be tagged with VLAN 77 tag, as well as we don't want Toby Flenderson surfing online sports during the day or using his ESPN app. So we'll go ahead and save changes here. We do need to take note of this HR group policy uh, tag because we're going to need to configure that over on the radius server. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we're going to jump over to the radius server to do some configuration. Okay, so we're here on my Radius server, and I've already installed the role of NPS on this server. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure the settings for um, the HR users. First, let me show you that I created a shared secret for uh, our Radius client, and we already have our Radius client added here. You can see the properties. You could go ahead and do this on your own. This is super easy, that's why I didn't waste any time here. But in order to create the policy, I go up to this NPS local, and we're going to walk through this wizard and configure settings for wireless clients. So we're going to tag this as HR users. We already have our, our Meraki radius client in here. We're going to choose PEEP for authentication method. I've already imported my own self-signed cert. You could add your own or create your own self-signed cert. Hit OK. Next. And then this is saying what groups are allowed to connect to uh, this policy and that's going to be our HR AD group and then finally this is what group policy is going to be applied to this client so what traffic rules 
are we going to apply to this client? So we'll go ahead and hit the filter ID because that's what the Meraki network is going to be looking for. We'll go back here and we'll grab this HR group policy VLAN 77, copy, and paste, OK, OK, next, and finish. All right, so that's it on the radius side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we're gonna test this in action. So I just logged into networkccietim.com as a HR user. And as you can re remember from our uh, diagram, HR users would be dropped in VLAN 77. So I pulled a VLAN 77 IP address. Now let's just make sure that our group policies are working. So I shouldn't be able to access any internal resources. So I'm gonna to try to connect to the IT VLAN and my traffic is blocked. I'm gonna to try to uh, get into the radius network. And we can see that works. And now I should be able to access internet and that policy worked. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, pause the video and log in as an IT user to show you full access. So as you can see, I'm now logged into ccietim.com as an IT user. I've pulled a IP address in the VLAN 55 network, which is for IT, and I should have full access to all resources on the network. So let's go ahead and ping the uh, radius network. I have access to that. And then I'm gonna ping the network management VLAN 1.1, and I have access to that. And then I'm able to ping the internet. So hopefully you can see from this video how easy it is to build a group policy and then apply that group policy to our user traffic. So if I'm a user in IT, I apply an IT group policy. And then on that group policy, I can say, what can a user get to on the network? And then what resources are we limiting to that user? So I'm going to go ahead, stop the video, start video three, and focus on wired clients.